From setting a world speed record to not running in over 35 years, here is why the fastest steam locomotive will probably never move again. Mallard, the iconic steam locomotive, holds a special place in history. It was created as part of Sir Nigel Gresley's A4 class in 1938, numbered 4468 and costing £8,500. The locomotive was selected by Gresley for an experimental test run that would go on to break the steam speed record, reaching an astounding 126 miles an hour as it descended Stoke Bank in the UK. Surprisingly, this record has remained unbroken to this day, making Mallard a true legend in the world of steam locomotives. Gresley had plans for another record attempt, but the outbreak of World War II dashed those hopes. After British Railways took over, Mallard underwent renumbering to 22 during the 1948 exchange trials, part of an initiative to test various steam locomotive designs. As a standard practice, BR added 60,000 to the locomotive numbers after the trials concluded. Mallard continued its service, hauling the last steam hauled Elizabethan Express service from King's Cross to Edinburgh in 1961. British Rail retired Mallard, having covered an impressive 1.4 million miles during its service before officially withdrawing it in April of 1963. Calls for the Mallard's preservation were heeded and in 1963 the locomotive was sent to Doncaster Works to be restored to its original condition. It spent time on display at the London Transport Museum until 1975 when it found a new home at the National Railway Museum in York. The National Railway Museum had decided to restore her to full working order in order to celebrate in 1988 the 50th anniversary of her world record. The 1980s saw Mallard restored to working order and it made a limited number of runs on the main line, including specials from York and Scarborough in July 1986 and a couple of runs between York and Harrogate around Easter of 1987. It steamed for the last time in August 1988 and after this the locomotive has been set as a static display with it never been seen moving under its own steam. So if trains like the Flying Scotsman or other A4s can still run then why can't Mallard? The answer is twofold. Firstly it would require a replacement boiler and there just simply aren't any available considering other A4 locomotives are still in operation. Moreover, Mallard's last comprehensive overhaul was back in the 1980s, necessitating a significant renovation to run properly. The National Railway Museum believes it is more prudent to allow those funds to engines like the Flying Scotsman, which cost a staggering £4.2 million to restore. Secondly, Mallard is a national treasure, and preserving it in its current condition allows everyone to witness this iconic piece of history. Unlike the Flying Scotsman, much of Mallard remains unchanged since it set the speed record. Restoration would mean introducing new parts, diluting its historical significance. So while Mallard technically could run again, the practicality and cost effectiveness make it an impractical endeavour for the museum. Today Mallard stands proudly at the National Railway Museum, occasionally making appearances but never under its own steam. Subscribe for more captivating train related content.